fell off. Hello again and welcome to July's second video because we're now trying to do twice a month. Maybe we'll go up to weekly, I don't know, feeling ambitious. Um, and I really hope you can hear me okay. We have got a microphone on the way. I know a lot of people are saying about the sound quality. I am a quiet speaker and I'm doing my best to talk loudly, <laughs> which feels really unnatural to me. Um, Yuan's just picking some tomatoes from our very abundant uh, tomato garden. Um, and then I'm gonna pick a few and make us a tomato mozzarella salad. We've got some fresh basil on the go as well. Oh, it's just gonna be delicious. How are the Tommies? Loads of them. <laughs> Whole fine. Nice. Pretty. What are you gonna do with them? We're gonna try and sun dry them. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Look at these are like traffic lights. <laughs> this morning um, we were lying in bed and we could just hear sort of voices down the bottom of the land um, and the guys were there to take down the cork well to harvest the cork from the tree um, and Yuan got up and went and filmed them whilst I stayed in bed because <laughs> it was half six
also, seen as you got up and watched <laughs> them harvest the cork trees. And dress it. <laughs> and dress it. Yeah, it's naked now. Um, tell us what it was like. Did you say it was like sweating or something? Yeah, so they say it sweats. That's how you know it is ready to harvest. And when they did cut it off, the whole of the inside of it was wet. So that's probably how the sweat. Strange. But that's the layer that they took off. You can see, pretty much a wine cork. <laughs> cool. And then this would have been the second layer, the third, and then the original one. So you can see at the top there what the uh, bark used to look like. Very cool. Yeah. And then you were saying that they came off in like strips. Yeah, they were like 10 foot long, as you'll see on the video. <laughs> Yeah, it's been really nice to be up so early actually because it's so cool in the morning. Um, we've got some really hot days coming again. Uh, so we've just been out to Castello to get some chores done. We've refilled the water reservoir so it's nice and cold um, and algae free. <laughs> um, so yeah, now we're just about to have coffee and brace for the hot day. <laughs> We have just survived a very hot weekend. I think it's been the hottest weekend, hottest days um, since we've been here. It reached like 43 degrees on the thermometer, um, which has been challenging, <laughs> but we made it. And we have our lovely plunge pool, which I don't think we'd be surviving without. I think you have to have um, some water or means of cooling yourself down. Um, but it is Monday morning now, it's not supposed to be quite as hot today. They've got um, an icon on the weather app which is a, just a thermometer, <laughs> which it was the last two days and it just means it's, it's scorching. Um, so they don't have that today but I think the forecast is about 37. 
Um, but I've just come down this morning whilst it's still not too hot to check on the veg garden. I put in a load of onions. <laughs> And they've just died like it's just not the time of year to be putting stuff in so um yeah but everything that's already a bit more established is doing okay so these are those beautiful flowers i mentioned in the last video that have popped up amidst the potatoes um i just checked on my app and they're called black eyed susans um they're really stunning i think there's more coming up and then this has also appeared and i think it's a mallow flower which is exciting um this is why you should be terrible at weeding your garden because <laughs> you get lots of lovely gifts from it that's just stunning look at the lines in the petals lovely lovely and then this is the bottom well it still has plenty of water in and a very big frog see him there? and uh, our frisbee which I accidentally threw in and I'm gonna have to wait till the water level comes back up in the winter to get it oh there's another big frog but yeah glad to see we've still got so much water I think there's probably four or five meters still in here um, and the other top one still got plenty in too so hopefully we'll be fine for the rest of summer We think there's been some boar on the land. There's some marks here. <laughs> First one, oh no. Um, and this big rock's come off our uh, our wall. We are just on our way to Al Cane's to get a takeaway pizza. It's been such a hot day <laughs> and it's too hot in the kitchen to cook. dogs come to visit us. He's quite a scary wolf though. So we are just on our way to our friend Nick's for pizza again. We just can't get enough pizza <laughs> um, and it's a really beautiful drive up uh, to here so I will try and capture it through our bug stained windows.
so thank you for watching this month's video hope you enjoyed it <laughs> your sun-dried tomatoes. Sun tomatoes they're very tasty um i have set up a ko-fi page i think that's how you call it i'll put it in the link if you guys wanted to support our channel uh we will be spending it on seeds and, and trees and trees and compost we'll name them after you <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah are we gonna do weekly videos we maybe um, we'll see we're definitely gonna do every two weeks yeah and then we'll do every week once yeah. we got good at making videos but. <laughs> um and we are thinking of doing like a patreon or something we don't know lots of things to come uh if there's anything you would like us to video let us know in the comments and we will see you in definitely two weeks maybe one maybe one <laughs> bye <laughs>